temperatures are heating up outside and the last place you wanna be is in your kitchen cooking, am I right? Well, don't worry, I have the perfect recipe for you today. We are going to cook once, but eat twice. So you only have to be in the kitchen once. And the first thing we're gonna make are delicious pita wraps made with grilled chicken and veggies. You're gonna have this dinner on your table in no time. For the Worcester County Health Department, I'm nutritionist Kelly Williams. Welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking in Worcester. Let's get started. We're gonna use this chicken two different ways. First with our whole wheat pita wraps and then later in another special dish with some pasta. We're gonna start with a pan over medium heat and about a tablespoon of oil. We're gonna go ahead and season up our chicken breasts. You could use any cut of chicken and really this is a very adaptable recipe. So if you have another protein that your family enjoys, feel free to use that as well. I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna use some Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning is gonna go really well with the flavors of our whole wheat wraps. Our oil is heated up, got a nice sizzle there. We're gonna put those in the pan. And now that they're in the pan, we're gonna go ahead and season the other side. You wanna make sure you season both sides when you're cooking. If you wanna use a little salt and pepper, you could do that as well. I'm gonna leave the salt out right now because I'm gonna keep this a low sodium dish and because we're gonna be adding some other flavors later on as well. We're gonna give that a couple minutes to get cooked. Depends on the thickness of your chicken, but look around the edges when you see it's white about halfway up then it's time to flip it. This needs to be on about a medium heat. You don't want the oil to be spraying, but you do want to get a nice sear on it so the chicken stays nice and juicy. And while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and get started on slicing our vegetables. Let's give a quick hand wash and move over to the cutting board. While our chicken is resting, we're gonna go ahead and slice up some grape or cherry tomatoes. Keep in mind, you can use any vegetables that your family enjoys. We're just gonna add some nice pop of color and get a veggie serving in here. The great thing about this meal is that you can come home and have a dinner like this on the table so fast. So we have some tomatoes chopped up. If your tomatoes are a little larger or if you use a full-size tomato, just go ahead and give it a dice. Okay, we're going to get our chicken and get that sliced up and ready to go. You wanna let your chicken rest for a couple of minutes, uh, maybe about five minutes after it's cooking. It will continue to cook after you take it off of the heat. And in addition, you wanna give the juices a chance to reabsorb so it stays nice and moist and tender. As you can see, it's nice and seared on the outside. You wanna make sure it's not pink on the inside. That's how you know it's fully cooked and nice and safe to eat. And now we're gonna show you how to put together your pita wraps. We are using a whole wheat pita wrap. This is a great source of complex carbohydrates, good source of fiber here. You can warm this up on a skillet or put it in the microwave for just a couple of minutes. That will kind of soften it, make it a little bit more pliable. We're gonna add our chicken and we're going to top this off with some of those tomatoes. And we're also gonna take some extra help from the grocery store. And remember, when you're in a busy season of life or if you just wanna not spend as much time in the kitchen. It is perfectly fine to buy some pre-shredded lettuce. We're also gonna be using tzatziki, which is a Greek-style yogurt sauce. As our dressing, this is made from Greek yogurt, so another great source of protein. Adds a lot of flavor, and there you have it. This is our chicken pita wrap. Easy, quick weeknight dinner that everybody can feel good about getting on the table. For the Worcester County Health Department, I'm nutritionist Kelly Williams. Remember to eat healthy, be active, and prevent diabetes today.